It's a new dawn. It's a <laughs> cock a doodle do to you as well, chicken. Where are you? I have no goddamn idea, but you know what I've got? One toast. Two jam. The perfect breakfast meal. Jam on toast. I love it. Because once we start this day, ladies and gentlemen, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, we're jamming. But Mr. Chicken, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, wherever you're hiding, I love you. Never stop being the chicken clucker that I knew. And oh my gosh, that is a, that's a squad. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 people out on jet skis. Holy crap. Well, 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 welcome back to another day in the life of Tom. I'm starting this day pretty unsuccessfully. Um, managed to lock myself out the room and the key that I tried to get back in with is deprogrammed. So I need to go and fix that immediately. I'm also covered in mosquito bites. This is a big L right now. New room key obtained. Now all I've got to do is walk the world's longest corridor. All right, bag's packed, ready to go. All right, welcome back to the Turtle Center. It closes at five, so I'm rushing. So just for the record, this place closes at five. It is currently now 4.30, but the last administration for them to let you in was at, at, four, at like 4.30. I made it here at one minute to half past. And if you're wondering why I've come here, look at the size of the, here's my hand. Look at the size of those turtles. They're absolutely gigantic. Oh my God. The Cayman Crocodile exhibi exhibi Exhibit. I can't English today. Okay, that is a gnarly looking crocodile. This, oh whoa, did he just snap at me? This is easily the closest I've ever been to a crocodile in my life. Look at its teeth. That thing is gnarly. Dude, totally. Oh my god, hello there! You're like the cutest turtle ever! Oh my god, look at his tail! <laughs> hello. Dude! Oh, look at his hand! Oh, he's amazing! Oh. Look at this one! Oh my gosh, hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little man. Take let go, little man. <laughs> oh my god, that is the cutest thing ever. Oh my god, look at this thing. Look at this little turtle. Hello, Mr. Turtle friend. Look at him. He's so cute. Ladies and gentlemen, I've adopted a turtle. This is my friend. I'm gonna call you Steve. Oh, wait. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You can go. Oh, here's your daily dose of chickens. There's, oh my God, there's loads of them. Christ. That is insane. I, I heard like rustling in the bushes. I didn't know I was going to find an entire family. Oh, you guys look so cute, but you grow up to be so annoying. Like to the locals and people who live on the island, they're truly considered like pests. So last time I was here, I was like, I'm trying to not get sand in my feet because that'd suck. There's nothing worse than like getting in the ocean and getting out with sand all over you. You're trying to dry off. But last time I was here, you were allowed to like full on like pick up like the little baby turtles because them ones over there, um, they've released into the wild. So like, they they uh, hatch them like little hatchlings in the, the in the place over there, and then they release them off into the wild. Like you just you release them at hotels, like let them crawl onto the beach, or they go and put them around in like reefs and stuff like that. 
but last time I was here, I could like full on like hold them and I got like the most amazing little photo of this cute one. Ryan, if you can somehow put the photo here. Oh, look at him, so cute. But um, yeah, this time that like, they've changed the rules now. So you can only, you can only like touch them sort of thing. Like, like just partly, you can't pick them up or anything. So I cried, they were so cute. I really wanted to just cuddle one like, mm. not that I would, cause I'd probably crush it. But I don't think I could crush one of them with a hug. That is mental if i saw that in the wild like just swimming around i honestly wouldn't know what i'd do that is so big look at it underneath me they're they're that is so huge oh my god dude totally but this place is now closed i must leave a very quick visit to the turtle sanctuary bye bye so you're gonna drive me to hell I'm going to take you to hell and back. Yeah, and then we're going to get the hell out of there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> take me to hell. This is legitimately hell's post office. <laughs> Welcome to hell, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, they've even got chickens in hell as well. Oh, more baby chickens. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty cool. What on earth? This is called Ironshaw. Yeah, this is what the, this is limestone, basically. There's some fossils. Wow. Before. It it is a it's a it's alleged that he arrived at the site. Someone walked at, took one look at it and said, "My God, this must be what hell looks like." Yeah. Since then, it ever became known as hell. Well, thank you very much. Just on the way back to the hotel, he was like, "Yo, I'll take you to hell." Thank you so much. Oh, she just gave me a postcard for free to send all the way back to England, and just like that, a postcard from hell is on its way home. So your wife got the inside scoop that the runway for, at the airport here is damaged. Apparently, I, but I mean, I might, these folks came in at 1.30 and they landed just fine. I don't Weird. Know. What a nice guy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna be the last time we see the sunset in the Cayman Islands on this adventure. Okay, you can't make this up, all right? So Marina and Chris left the island this morning. And because of the disaster that you've heard go down on the runway or whatever's happened, Marina is back. What? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> it, it's like it's like a curse. Once you're on the island, you can't get off it. But it's not a bad thing. Oh my god! All right, so change the scenery again. I'm now out on the water again because I'm going out to somewhere where in the water there's bioluminescent plankton. I think it's plankton or whatever it is but apparently it's one of the most magical things you can ever experience. And there's only like five places in the world you can do it. I wanted to try and do it whilst I was here, but whilst I was here, um, it was only available on the 10th being today. So the fact that I'm like extended the, the trip because of the cancellation, I'm now able to go and check this out. Now it's a nighttime thing, because you know, it's gonna be pitch black and then the plankton moves and all, whatever it is. Uh, I'll tell you more about it when they teach me about it. But basically it's just, it's like something like out of Avatar. So if I can somehow capture it on camera, I will do. Uh, or some photos of it or whatever. But I'm going out on the boat now and going and experiencing it. So let's do this. Time for another adventure on a boat. So you get like a little rash guard. Why'd you get this again? Uh, it's for protection against sharks. <laughs> God damn! Is this actually, is this for like the jellyfish? Really? What? Look at the boat! We look, we look like we're about to go and rob a bank! <laughs> Everyone's going on a Madden to get a beer, and they said if you, if you don't have a beer, you won't see the bioluminescent so let's do it. Alright, we're leaving the bay right now, and we're heading on an adventure. We're literally one AK-47 from looking like a boat of pirates ready to rob a cruise ship. I know you're expecting glowing shorelines and rainbows and stuff like that, <laughs> but I don't worry, we're not ripping you off. Once you hop in the water, you're going to see everything that you came to see. Now, these, these plankton, they're called dinoflagellate plankton. As I said before, they're microscopic in size. We cannot see them with our naked eye, but we will see the light that they emit. And the reason why you haven't seen anything yet is because you have to agitate the water for them to emit their light. This is a man-made bay. It was actually dredged out about 30 years ago. It became a bio bay completely by accident, and we did not start to notice it until about 2009, 2010, yeah. Uh, next reason you got your suits on, see that house right there? 
That's a house that we're gonna rob. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> we, we look like criminals. So this is me just filming on camera and I guarantee you guys cannot see anything. Like even if I increase the brightness, you won't see anything. So I might have to take some photos of it. Um, I've got my GoPro on as well. And what I'm gonna do with my GoPro is I'm gonna try and record with that and see if we can increase the saturation and the brightness and see if it shows anything, but I highly doubt it will. But like, oh, it's so difficult for me to... It, from, from up here, it almost looks like bubbles. I got that person to splash in the water with a long exposure shot and this is the photo I got. Boom, how sick is that? Well, I can confirm that is definitely one of the coolest experiences I've ever done in my life. Was it worth your flight being canceled? Absolutely. Yes! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Chris, we were wishing you were here, brother. We were wishing you were here. God damn it. Edna, you're the best. Thank, Thank you so you much. Man. I'm so glad I managed to sort you out the tent. I love you. <laughs> I won't tell Bev, my cleaner in the UK, that I'm cheating on her, okay? I, I love you! Bev, if you see this, don't kill me. So, Marina, I think people are going to start thinking things because oh, we're going out for dinner together, so... <laughs> Sorry, Chris! Oh, wait, you are <laughs> Alright, apparently this restaurant is incredible. It's called Casanova's. It's in Italian. Didn't think I'd be eating Italian here in the Cayman Islands, but apparently it's that damn good. I have no idea who these people are, but I, I love it. Oh, they're celebrating someone's birthday. Hey, birthday to you. <laughs> that is one of the nicest pieces I've ever had. Just saying. Oh, no, we're not. I'm straight over. That looks amazing. Holy crap. That's tapping. Oh, my God. What, is that a tapping? Yeah. Oh, my. They are gigantic. Oh my gosh, look at the size of these fish, bro. I saw these guys feeding something and I was like, oh, flipping heck. Imagine just catching one of them, you could eat for a month. Whoa, Christ on a bike, look at the size of that thing. Oh, damn, imagine getting speared by that. For, for your best friend, Whitney. For my best friend, Whitney. Yeah. <laughs> You were the best day ever. Oh my God, Chris, no. again, brother. Thank you for dinner. Wishing you so were here. No, hey, no worries. See, now you're touching my arm. The comments are going to be going mad. No. Wait, hey, Marina, you don't want to stop off here, do you? Uh, look, no. look at that. Oh, what is it? <laughs> that was the first hotel I ever stayed at. Oh, yeah. Definitely not. You don't want to go there? Never. What's wrong with Margaritaville? It's not good. You don't what like you it? Think? Oh, it's upgraded. upgraded! Come on! We're <laughs> Marina, they're coming for us. Yeah. They're coming for us. Yeah, Get the out of here! Thanking you, hello. How are you? Come on, sugar mama, pay. <laughs> sugar mama's gonna pay. <laughs> I paid for dinner because I've got no cash. She's paying for taxis. And I paid for dinner last night, so. Did you? Did I not pay any? Nope. Wait, seriously? Bye! Get home safe! <laughs> Bye! Oh my god. What a woman. Well, Mr. Orion explained to me that he's edited the vlog and he needs an outro. So here I am, guys, on my last actual day in the Cayman Islands. It's been real. I've loved it. It's been magical. You'll see my adventure home tomorrow. But what an absolute day. I hope somehow this video made any sort of sense with the whole bioluminescent thing like it truly was a magical experience to see in person and the fact that i thought of the idea of like wait if i take a picture with night mode you can actually see the bioluminescence which is like mad what if i screen record whilst taking the bioluminescent like night mode photo 
and it actually captured it. So I was really happy that, you know, to be able to show people when they're asking like, what's it like? What, what is it, you know, like, how do you describe it to someone? I've now actually got footage of me being able to go, boom, there, there it is. Like, I've actually got it on camera. And you know what? This truly is the island that just keeps on giving. Every time I've come back here, it has just been next level. So guys, I'm gonna have to end this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like right in, click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. for the next daily vlog. So until then, much love and adios.